Hi guys, today we're going to do a nice activity. So here we have some objects and my toy. So you have to put it gently or else it will splash. And today we're doing sink and float. Whoever floats will put it here and whoever sinks will put it here. So let's get started. Guys, I'm going to do this one. See guys, it sinks. So I'll put it in the sink area where it belongs to sleep. And now I will do this. See, it floats. So I will put it in the float area. Now I'll do the spot. It's not going down because it floats. One more down. And now I'm going to put my toys very, very far so that you can all see who which one sings and which one floats. Let's do it. And I'm putting all the things to see if they float or sink. So this one floats. This one also floats. This one also floats. And now I'm going to put on this one. I think it floats. No, it sinks. This one also sinks. It's so heavy when it's in the water. These two also sink. But this one floats. The straw survives from the water. And after the activity, you can also have a pool party with your dolls. See, I can do one more thing. So how it's moving because you have a straw and your air is strong because it's moving with your air pressure like this. When you blow it, then the air comes out and it blows this. Look. And thanks for watching my video. You can also do this activity at your home. You can also do it with a smaller object or a bigger object. Bye-bye.